Have you ever tried manually copying over a DVD so that it'll play on your TV, your phone or your tablet? Well, first of all, you're going to find all these files on here and you haven't got a clue what they are. What's a BUP file? What's an IFO? What's a VOB? Secondly, you're going to find if you do manage to get them across, they don't play because they're just simply not in the format required or they're encrypted or worse still, they're too large to fit on your device. Well, this video is going to show you how you can compress these down into a simple file that will fit on your phone, your tablet, on your TV and will certainly play. If you're watching this video as a short, then hit on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, then hang tight. More details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you a quick and simple way of getting your DVDs, the VOB files, the IFO files, the BUP files that are on your DVD over to your TV, your phone or your tablet. It's going to allow you to unencrypt the DVD so that it will play. It's going to allow you to compress it so that it's down to a small MP4 pot file. Now an MP4 file will play on virtually any modern day phone, tablet, TV or any other device that you might want to play it on. So how do you do it? Well, I've found one of the most easiest ways of doing this is via a program called WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. And I'm going to show you this today. So let's just open this up. Now I've got my DVD already in my DVD drive on my laptop. And here we go, it's now loaded. So all we need to do is just, as I say, make sure that the DVD is loaded and then just click on disk up the top there. there's a great little get started guide just there so it says click dvd button to load the dvd then choose an output format and then click run it's as simple as that so let's just click disk it says select the source disk now my disk is back to the future and i'm just going to leave this as is okay so i'm just going to click on the ok button there it's going to go through, it's going to scan the disk now, it's going to find all the parts of the disk. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on general profiles and I'm going to select MP4 video. That's what's recommended. That's the standard MP4 multimedia format. And as I say, MP4s will play on virtually any device. It will play on a TV, a smart TV. It will play on an iPad. It will play on an iPhone. It will play on an Android phone or a tablet. It will play on a stick if you can get it onto a TV stick. So what we've got to decide here is really the quality. So if we go for higher quality, it's going to take up more space and it's going to take longer to decode. Or if I leave this little bar in the middle there, that gives you a balance of quality, speed and size. Or if I go for low quality, it's going to be much faster to convert it into an MP4 and it's going to be smaller but the quality on the screen isn't going to be as great. Now, this low quality might be good if you're going to watch this on a smaller screen, such as a phone or maybe even a tablet. The mid quality is probably good for a tablet and most TVs and high quality would be good, I suppose, if you're watching it on a large screen TV. But you might just want to play around with these settings or you just might want to leave it in the middle there like I'm going to. So once you've chosen whether you want low quality, mid quality or high quality, click on OK. And then you'll see here a list of titles. Now on a DVD, you have several titles just for several bits. I mean, the main title, which has the longest duration, as you can see here, is going to be the main film. All these other titles here are probably going to be extras from the DVD or menu items on the DVD to give the menu its structure. So these generally aren't going to be needed. So all I would recommend selecting is the title with the longest time, which is usually title one. Now here we can also select the audio. So at the moment it's selected AC3 six channel audio. So this is good if you've got a surround sound system. Now you might not want to use the six channel audio. 
using six channel audio will take up the most space or create the biggest mp4 file so if we click this see what other options we've got now we've got different languages this dvd is in english and in spanish so we've got ac3 english ac3 spanish or dts spanish or ac3 english 2 channel which means ac3 english 2 channel means that you're only going to have the the left and the right you're not going to have all the surround channels now obviously if you're only going to be listening to this perhaps on a phone or a tablet then you're only really going to need the two channels if you're going to watch this on a system with surround sound then you're probably going to want the six channels i'm just going to uh, select the two channel there the next thing we've got here is subtitles so if you want subtitles in the movie then you can select the language of the subtitle there or if you just want forced subtitle which is where they are speaking foreign in parts it will just put up the subtitles where necessary for foreign parts of the movie so i would suggest perhaps selecting false subtitle because there might be some films where you might think to yourself, i can't remember if there's any any false subtitles in it, any foreign speaking parts of the uh, of the food of the movie the next thing we can do here is we can edit the movie so we can trim it we can basically we can cut out the start of the movie if we want to or the end like for instance if we want to cut out the the little intro at the beginning you know the uh, the universal the 21st century fox logos things like that or we can scroll right to the end of the movie and if we want to we can cut out the titles as well so we can trim those we've also got a section here where we can choose where we want to position the subtitles top center or bottom crop and expand if we want to cut out the letterbox bars at the top and the bottom of the screen we can do that and as i said earlier we've got the trim here so we can trim out the gump for the start and we can trim out the titles at the end which will make for a slightly smaller mp4 file okay so let's just go back so we've got an option here as well set tag so this uh, basically tells us what the file name is going to be now now the file name is going to be back underscore two underscore two underscore the underscore future dot mp4 for me now if i wanted to clean that up and get rid of the underscores i could do that from here let's just get rid of the underscores there and i mean in my case it's it's all in capitals now maybe i don't want the whole title in capitals so i can delete that out and then just type there back to the future and there we go and then we've got tag info so you can change that as well if you want to and there we are we can select an artist if we want to which would probably be the director's name so let's just put in there robert zemeckis and if we want to we can click into genre and put genre and we can do put some comments as well so let's just click on okay on that if we click on the cog just up there we can finally tune the uh, mp4 video if we want so we can set a manual bit rate we can set the codec if we want to we can change the frame rate if we need to aspect ratio resolution and also the audio codex and details if we want to there but really i would suggest leaving these alone now another option we've got here is we can go to merge titles which means it's going to merge all of these titles which we don't really want and that's what that's going to end up doing is you're just going to have a load of gobbledygook really at the end you're going to end up with all the extras at the end and you're going to end up with bits of the menu system from the dvd at the end as well so again i'd advise against doing this and at the bottom here we've got destination folder now that is where our mp4 file is going to be put and we can once it's done we can take that from there and we can then copy that to our phone our tablet or our smart tv etc all that's left to do now is just to click on run just down there there you go it started now this bit might take a bit of time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause the video and we'll come back to it once it's actually finished 
encoding the video into an mp4 file okay so it's very very nearly finished encoding and there you go once you get the message all jobs have been completed then it's done you can just click on the ok button just here and there it is there's our video our mp4 file which is a lot smaller it's in one file rather than spread out over loads of them and we can copy these now to our phone our tablet or watch it on our laptop or we can copy it to our tv so to get this software and get yourself a great deal on it all you need to do is have a look in the description of this video below. There's a link in there. Click on the link and that will show you where you can download it and get yourself a great deal. I hope this video helped. And if it did, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos on my YouTube channel covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money.